Okay, so as you all know, I'm doing some research on how I can make a movie in Omniverse Machinima. And one of the things I'm looking into is actually getting some mocap in there. So what I'm going to do today is go to Relusion Actor Core, download one of the mocaps here, apply the mocap in Maya, and then take it to Omniverse Machinima. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the motion right here. Now they have some free content as well. All right, someone is going to download this right here. It's $2.25. I'm going to add this to cart. I'm going to go to checkout. Okay, so after that, I'm going to go to that aisle, which is right here. And I'm going to download this motion here. I'm going to take the female. One is okay. And I'm going to click next. I'm going to say target is Maya. And as you can see right here, we don't have Omniverse straight out. But it's okay. We're going to round trip it. And then what I'll do also is click on this download the latest, latest template because I need to download this right here. Okay, go back. Zero, uh, 60 frames per second is okay. Maya is okay. Download this as well. All right, so let's go to Maya real quick. And before we can do anything here, we're going to have to go to the Omniverse launchers. So if we go right here and I go to the library connectors, you're going to see that I already have Autodesk Maya installed. If you don't, just go ahead and go to the exchange, go to connectors, and you're going to see all the connectors that you can download. So you can see right here, they did release a Relusion iClone 7.93, which is good. But I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it this way for now. But we will go over this later as well. You're going to see that I have this tab now here, and I can connect to that. Because all you have to do is add NVIDIA a virtual disk so you can download these stuff that I'm doing right now. So with that being said, I'm going to go to Omniverse and I'm going to go to USD and I'm going to open one. And let me go start from scratch so you can follow along. This is the local host drive that I was talking about. I'm going to go now to NVIDIA. I'm going to go to Assets, Machinima, NVIDIA Soul, Characters, Soulet, and then this one. And I'm going to go ahead and open. Okay, so here we go. We have our Soulet opened now in Maya. Okay, so the next step is we're going to characterize this uh, model here, pretty much apply the human IK to it. Now, I had to call the Maya doctor in for this one because this bones, the bone system for this character was a little tricky and I couldn't get it to work. So I had Yosef, the Maya expert, help me out with this. So apparently Maya has this weird thing that I have to change this to Y up. So I'm going to go to preferences. I'm going to change the settings to Y right here, and I'm going to save. And that's going to flip her over. I'm going to select the entire thing, and I'm just going to rotate her up. So she'll be right side up again, just like that. So I was having issues with that, because when I tried doing it in uh, the other way, the Z, Z up, it was doing some funky stuff. So big thanks to Yosef, the Maya expert, for helping me out with this, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, he's, I pretty much cry at him all the time when I can't figure something out in here. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to go to Rigging. Go to Human IK. It's going to open this up right now. And then we're going to create a character definition. Now, again, Yosef sent me a template for this. And I'm going to share it with you all as well. So you don't have to do this manually. And I'm just going to drag and drop this thing right here that he provided and that's going to be set up so you can see the character definition is already in there it's already set up for character one so now that we have this character in here all done up and good to go we are now going to import what we downloaded from the illusion actor core so i'm going to go to my downloads page we have the let's see here we have the actor core maya and i'm going to go ahead and extract that and we also have this Relusion G3 Motion Maya. I'm going to extract that as well. Sure. I think I already have it open. Okay, so we're going to go to File, Import. I'm going to go to my Downloads. And I'm going to go to Actor Core. I'm going to grab the actor first. Import that. Character is now there, so that's good. And now what we'll do is actually characterize that character or character, define it now, create another rig here. So I'm going to go to definition, click the plus icon right here. It's going to create another character. I'm going to go to the CC base bone root, CC base hip. And now I'm going to click on the open folder, go to browse, and I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to go to that folder, RLG3 motion, double click that. Okay, and now that character is set up.
pretty awesome. Okay, so the next step is we're going to go to Windows Animation Editors Time Editor. And now we're going to drag and drop that FBX that comes in that folder as well. So I go to Actor Core Maya Motion Isle Greeting Carrying Bag M. Drag and drop that here. Minimize this. And you're going to see that our female robot will now animate. Okay, I'm going to change this to 60 because it was 60. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and press play and you're going to see that this is going to be animating. So the last thing we need to do here is actually apply this animation to Solette. And to do that, it's fairly easy. We go right here, choose character one, and then the source will be character two. Minimize this. And now if I play this, you are now going to see that they're both animated. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and bake that. So I'll go to bake. I'm going to bake it to the skeleton or control rig. doesn't really matter. If you, want to if you want to do some tweaks and editing, you can bake it to the control rig, but I'm going to bake this to the skeleton for now. There you go. It's doing the thing, whatever. It's good to go. Now it's going to create those keyframes, and I can actually delete this character now because we don't need him anymore. And we can delete the CC body as well because we now have that animation applied. Even the finger data is there which is pretty sick. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually export this, so export right here. And I'm gonna save this to my drive. So I'm gonna go to just a folder in my desktop. Right here is fine, and I have a folder called future. I'm gonna leave it here, and I'm gonna go actor motion. And right here, I'm gonna select skeleton animation clip. I'm just pretty much playing around in here, and this is the one that I got to work. But if you have something else that works, let me know. But this is really what I got working. Now here, I'm going to choose Y up. And then I'm going to press export. And then the next thing we're going to do is open up the actual Omniverse Machinima. All right, so we have the Omniverse Machinima here. I'm just going to drop a sky here in HDRI so it's not dark. Okay, so we have an HDRI. Now we're going to go to the content. We're going to find Solet again. NVIDIA, Assets, Machinima, Soul, Characters, Solette, and we're going to go ahead and drag her to the scene. I'm going to reset her just like that, and I'm going to go to the sequencer, and I will add her to that sequencer now. Nice. Okay, so the next step is we're going to go to my desktop folder and look for that animation, which is Actor Core Motion. I'm going to drag that now here. I'm going to delete the first one, the female clip, because that's just the static. I'm going to move this over to the left, and now I just have to rotate it. Now, if you know how to fix this, and I know it has something to do with Maya, you know, switching over all those orientations, let me know. But it's a really easy fix, really. It's not, it doesn't take that long to fix. The actual number was right, so we're just going to do this by eye for now. Okay. And now... We have Solette animating from the actual Actor Core mocap that we downloaded from Illusion Actor Core. All right, so why did I do it this way? Well, it's because I wanted to use Solette here. If I would have done the iClone, because iClone, like I said, has an export function now from iClone itself that will go straight here but that's only going to be using iClone characters. If you want to use the characters built in right now in Omniverse, this is the only way I was able to do it. I had to round trip it from, uh, from Maya to Omniverse here, which is really not that bad. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is doing an actual mocap from my Xen suit, round tripping it to Maya, to the Omniverse, to Solette here. So with that being said, if you know a better way on how to do this, please let me know in the comments below because really this is kind of just like Frankensteining around trying to find a way to get some motion in here because like I said, I really want to see if I can make a movie in the NVIDIA Omniverse. If you all have any questions, let me know. If you learned something new today, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And like always, thank you all for watching.